What is up, Fibs fam? Welcome back to the series where I explain how we use tools found on an ozfence.store. In the last video, I talked to you guys about the pumpkin claw. You can find it up here somewhere. We also sell the apple jack, and one of the most frequently asked questions is, what is the difference between a pumpkin claw and an apple jack? It really comes down to personal preference. Think it's a Ford versus a Chevy thing versus, well, Ram's better than both those, but you get it, Ford versus Chevy. They both can be worked from the inside of the fence. They both clip to the fence. Let me show you how the Apple Jack does it. So for the Apple Jack, we're still working on the inside of the fence with the chain link being on the outside of the fence. We would pull the fence close, grab that top and pull it around. Now this is where they differ. So this part is relatively the same. Now you'll notice the Apple Jack pulls that chain link a little bit tighter to the top rail. We'll see the problem with that here in a minute, but it does have a positive clip. We can decide if we want to clip it tight or clip it loose, but it does have a positive clip where that pumpkin claw really just had a finger that would reach out and grab the chain link. We've got a positive hook here. Now, the one downside to the Applejack is it does hold that chain link a little bit closer, a little bit tighter in with the top rail, meaning that it doesn't slide nearly as easily. You wanna get your fence fairly pre-tight before you put it on there. But the benefit being, you do have this positive hook here. Rather than a finger that might come loose, the hook isn't going anywhere. So this likely would be used for guys that are used to working with heavier fence. Nine gauge, six gauge, mini mesh maybe, that sort of thing. Where you do not want this fence fabric falling or else it could lead to a lot of bodily injury and really a bad day. All right guys, one feature I like a lot with Company Cam is they give you a map that has pins for all your projects. I've got a customer that wants to see cedar, pre-stained, walnut fences that we've done recently to get an idea how they look. I pulled up the map icon on my Company Cam project folder uh, and it's gonna show me all of them, but it only shows 50 at a time. So this is 50 of the 420. But because we had the labels that I showed you guys last time, I know there's a label for pre-stained walnut and it'll show me all the projects that are pre-stained walnut. I can simply click them. I can grab the address and send that to him or I can download a few photos as a montage, send those to him as well. Come to Cam is great for contractors because it makes my job and your job a whole lot easier. To find the Applejack or the pumpkin claw or even the banana clip, check out ozfence.store. Let us know what you think.